I think that with filmmaking, the visuals are really important to tell the story. So you're showing the beginning, middle, and end. Musicians have always told stories through music. Uh, I guess that's why we play instruments. People do other kind of arts like painting and stuff, and it comes down to me just being amazed that my body is my art, and telling my story through that is, I use the aerial silks, so you can really get into an emotion or into character, having that apparatus. Well, a good story worth listening to or telling or reading is one that helps people make connections with others. I tell stories through journalism um, by just really talking to people um, and hearing their story, hearing what they have to say. We are storytellers. Since our beginnings, human beings have used words, symbols, music, and many other forms of communication to tell stories. But are all stories the same? Can a story told through music tell the same story as one told by a film? What makes a story? We spoke with several professional storytellers to find out. On Missouri State University campus, there's always a story unfolding. We found that particularly with Maggie Breen and Brianna Williams, who are members of the Aerialist Arts Club. It makes you feel very um, confident. Uh, it makes me feel really confident because I try new things I thought I would never be able to do, and it gives me strength and power. So it makes me feel really good about myself when I'm doing aerial arts. Uh, I don't know about what about you, Bri? Um, I just broke it down to a lot of people do other kind of arts like painting and stuff. And it comes down to me just being amazed that my body is my art. And telling my story through that is I use the aerial silks. So you can really get into an emotion or into character having that apparatus. We explored one of the oldest forms of storytelling with musician Maggie Thomas. Musicians have always told stories through music. Uh, I guess that's why we play instruments. Whether the song's, you know, slow and uh, in the minor key, you know, it kind of sends off that sad tone. And you can, like, show a lot of emotions through the tone of your instruments in a song. So use that to tell stories along with the lyrics. I think the most important element of the story would be uh, just telling truth within the lyrics and you know sharing real life experiences with everyone because there's someone out there that can always relate to whatever you have to say. Say another important element like to songwriting I'd say is a catchy chorus because that's the part you remember most of a song that's stuck in your head for the rest of the day. It's no secret that the film industry is one of the front runners of visual storytelling. We discussed what makes a story in movies with Missouri State teacher and filmmaker Christina Pipa. I'd say that with filmmaking, you have the potential to tell stories that really move people, whether that makes them laugh or cry or think more deeply about something. So you can do that through dialogue, and I love writing dialogue that has lots of layers to it, so subtext and meanings that maybe we don't see quite first on the page, but the actor brings this whole level of humanity and psychology to it. Um, but then back to the visuals, what are we seeing and how does that affect somebody to show them a world they haven't seen before? Think of books and most people would say that the first thing that comes to their minds is a story. Books have been the medium of storytelling since their creation. We sat down with Janine Birkenfeld, the manager of youth services at Schweitzer Brentwood Branch Library. Well, a good story worth listening to or telling or reading is one that helps people make connections with others. It's relatable. It's, it enriches their lives. In a world that craves a knowledge of what's happening, Cortland Stark gives us a scoop on how journalism tells a story. I tell stories through journalism um, by just really talking to people um, and hearing their story, hearing what they have to say. And then I typically will just write out the most important parts of their story. Um, oftentimes we use videos and photos to really showcase more of their story and get the full picture. Stories are told in many ways. Through the lens of a film, a body of an aerialist, the pages of a book, the strum of a guitar, 
the drive of a journalist, and so much more. So what makes a story, you may still be wondering. A story is a story, however you choose to tell it. What matters most is your will to tell it.